What we learned today is that the attendance list of the meeting that's now well known between Donald Trump Jr. and a uh, Russian lawyer was wider than, than we thought. Um, and it included a associate of the lawyer who is a Russian American uh, lobbyist named Renat Akhmetshin. We reached uh, Mr. Akhmetshin today. He's on holiday in France. Um, we spoke at length about his involvement in the meeting. He, he told us some, some interesting things, including the fact that uh, the lawyer was working from a document that was left behind for uh, the Trump people uh, that purportedly had details about uh, illicit money that they thought w made its way to the Democratic National Committee. This story is coming out in drips and drabs, and it, it's staying in the news like this. Um, the significance of this is that there is a, a, another person who played an important role here who um, we don't know yet if he was, for instance, um, listed in uh, disclosures by Jared Kushner, who was in the room and who was required as part of the administration to disclose all of his foreign contacts during the campaign. What it says is that we're not getting the whole story, so it raises big questions about what else is out there. The big question throughout this investigation was, was there actual collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government? Here we have an instance where uh, Donald Trump Jr. and other campaign officials, including the campaign manager at that time, Paul Manafort, and Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law, took a meeting on the basis of a um, Russian lawyer who they were told wanted to provide information that could be damaging to the Clinton campaign. 